I have always loved art. I, I got started painting when I was little, um, really just with crayons. And I had some great art teachers in the public schools growing up. And I had parents who were <laughs> really tolerant of me making messes. I'm Katie Padraki. I am a professional painter. I live in Greensboro right now, and I've spent almost my entire life here in North Carolina. My style to me is more about a color or a feeling or an emotion in the way that I move paint around than it is really anything else. It sort of congealed for me when someone was looking at my work and they said something that stuck with me. They said, wow, I just see uninhibited joy. And I thought, oh, like, that's exactly what I'm doing for myself when I paint. It's just about making myself happy with an arrangement of colors and shapes on a page um, or sort of cementing a memory that I had in a beautiful place that I want to hang on my wall. So I think my style is just about joyful color and paint. I would encourage anybody to go explore the state parks uh, if you have an hour or if you have a weekend or if you have even longer. I feel like there is treasure to be found. We started visiting all of the parks really on a whim. We had no idea that it was going to go as far as it did. Um, we went to Mayo River State Park, which is just 20 minutes away from where we live, and the kids splashed in muddy puddles and we had so much fun. And Dave and I looked at each other and said, man, wouldn't this be really cool if we actually did all the parks in a year? I wonder what that would be like. And when everything shut down in March, we sort of looked at each other and thought, okay, you know, ballet and soccer is all canceled. What are we going to do? And so we started visiting all the parks and um, we just loved it. We discovered so many new places that we had no idea were really in our backyard. I told one of my friends that we were doing this project where we were just going to all the state parks to explore and have fun and have family adventures. And she said, well, you're an artist. Why don't you make a little painting from each one? <laughs> and so I went back and I made little paintings from the snapshots from the first state parks and, um, and just continued on. My creative process um, begins with a photograph and it's usually a snapshot. And I will come home and print my photograph on copy paper and I'll take it upstairs to my studio and I, I sketch it out. You know, there's the iconic views of things like Pilot Mountain or Crowder's Mountain. Um, and then there are the more subtle experiences of what our hikes usually looked like, like walking down the path with the kids um, and the dappled light coming through the leaves. And those are the moments that I want to elevate as an artist. It's not necessarily the iconic views. I remember my kids playing at the edge of the water and it was it was like we were at the edge of the world because the fog had covered up everything across the river and we couldn't see anything but our little children playing in the beautiful ripply water things that are wild like we were sort of drawn to things like that and we're drawn to green space and we're drawn to color and pattern and, and things like that and when I'm out in nature on a hike that's what I get Seeing the entire state of North Carolina in, in one year makes you realize how lucky we are to live here. To share the paintings with others, um, I ended up creating a series called The Carolina Collection. Um, and this collection is all about <laughs> finding joy in a really hard year um, and doing it anyway. I want my children to look back and know <laughs> that I tried really hard in 2020 to make it good for them. Probably they'll roll their eyes at me and say, God, mom and dad made us hike all the time. <laughs> but, you know, this was my way of um, taking lemons and making lemonade. <laughs>